Translation into American English asterisk. Andre, Simon Peter's brother, is a significant figure in the Gospels, especially due to his direct connection to the discovery and following of Jesus. The verse John 1 verse 40 highlights Andre's importance at the moment when he, along with another disciple, heard John the Baptist point to Jesus as the Lamb of God. This act of hearing and following Jesus placed Andre in a position of prominence, not because of the grandeur of his actions, but because of his ability to quickly and intuitively grasp the essence of the one who would change his life and the course of human history. When Andre heard John the Baptist proclaim Jesus as the Lamb of God, he immediately followed the Master. The decision to follow Jesus wasn't an impulsive action but a natural response to the truth he had recognized. He was drawn to the authority and mystery surrounding Jesus, and this shaped the entire course of his life. Although mentioned less frequently compared to his brother Peter, his decision to follow Jesus from the very beginning demonstrates his receptive heart to the truth and divine revelation. Tradition tells us that Andre was a disciple of John the Baptist before following Jesus. This suggests that he was already seeking the truth, longing for spiritual transformation. Andre wasn't just any man, he was prepared to recognize and follow the Messiah when he revealed himself. The fact that he was one of the first to follow Jesus speaks volumes about his spiritual readiness and sensitivity. He was searching for something greater than what the world could offer, and when he found it, he didn't hesitate to act. The decision to follow Jesus was one of the most crucial in Andre's life, as it not only impacted his own journey but also that of his brother Peter. Shortly after meeting Jesus, the first thing Andre did was find Simon Peter to tell him about the Messiah. The importance of this act cannot be overstated. If it weren't for Andre, Peter might not have had his first encounter with Jesus at that moment. Andre was the link that connected Peter to the Savior, thus playing a key role in the unfolding of apostolic history. Andre didn't seek recognition or glory for what he did. On the contrary, he acted quietly but profoundly effectively. This is a hallmark of his life, humility. In various gospel passages, we see that he acts discreetly, but always at the right moment. He doesn't stand out like Peter, who often speaks or acts impulsively and energetically, but it's undeniable that in his quietness, Andre had a lasting impact. Although the Bible doesn't offer many details about Andre, what we know of his actions reveals a man of unwavering faith and courage. Like his brother, he was a fisherman and led a simple life before meeting Jesus. Fishing was his profession, and life around the Sea of Galilee was rooted in hard work and an intimate connection with nature. This context of simplicity and honest labor shaped his character, preparing him to be a disciple of Christ. He knew the value of constant effort, patience, and perseverance, qualities essential for his future mission. When Jesus called him to be a fisher of men, Andre understood that his life was taking a completely new direction. He would trade fishing nets for a much more challenging and grand mission, bringing souls into the kingdom of God. Andre embraced this new vocation with determination, even though it meant leaving behind the security of his profession and the comforts of family life. From that moment on, he wouldn't work just to support his family but to spread the message of salvation. One of the greatest lessons we can learn from Andre is his readiness to share the good news. He didn't keep the discovery of Jesus to himself but immediately shared it with his brother Peter. This shows a deep generosity of spirit. Instead of trying to monopolize his experience with the Messiah, he chose to include others, starting with those closest to him. Andre didn't have a narrow or exclusive view of what it meant to be a follower of Jesus, he knew this was a message for everyone and thus became one of the first evangelists, leading people directly to the source of eternal life. Another interesting aspect of Andre is his involvement in the story of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. When a large crowd was standing before Jesus, hungry, and the disciples were perplexed about how to feed them, it was Andre who brought to Jesus' attention a boy with five loaves and two fish. Even though it seemed like little, Andre didn't underestimate Jesus' power to transform what was available into an abundance that would meet everyone's needs. This gesture shows his practical faith and his willingness to bring to Jesus what he had, even if it seemed insufficient by human standards. Andre's personality is also revealed in his readiness to engage with the Gentiles. In John 12, a group of Greeks wants to see Jesus, and it is Andre, along with Philip, who brings this news to Jesus. This detail is significant because it suggests that Andre had no prejudices or barriers in his mind regarding who could approach Jesus. He saw no limitations to God's grace. To Andre, everyone was welcome to meet the Messiah, regardless of their background or culture. 
Christian tradition tells us that André preached the gospel in various regions after Jesus' resurrection. He was a missionary in places like Asia Minor, Greece, and possibly even as far as Russia. His willingness to take Jesus' message to distant peoples is further evidence of his unwavering commitment to the mission entrusted to him. He didn't remain in his homeland but ventured into foreign lands, facing challenges and dangers to spread the gospel. André also serves as an example of faithfulness to the end. According to tradition, he was martyred in Patras, Greece. He was crucified on an X-shaped cross, now known as St. Andrew's Cross. Even in the face of death, André remained steadfast in his faith, never renouncing the Christ he had served all his life. His martyrdom is the final proof of his loyalty and courage. He faced death with the same determination with which he had followed Jesus from the first moment. André's example continues to inspire Christians around the world. His humility, faith, and readiness to follow Jesus are qualities that all believers are called to imitate. He didn't seek recognition but was faithful to his calling, and that is what truly matters. Although he wasn't as prominent as Peter, John, or Paul, André played a vital role in the history of Christianity. His work, often behind the scenes, was crucial to the growth of the Christian movement. André's life teaches us that true discipleship isn't about seeking status or glory but about being faithful to the mission God gives us, no matter the size or visibility of that mission. André's example challenges us to be humble yet courageous, quiet but effective, simple but deeply committed to God's call in our lives. He shows us that often it's in the small acts of faith and obedience that we find the greatest impact in God's kingdom. As we reflect on André's journey, we realize that his life was a constant response to the divine call. He listened, followed, shared, and ultimately gave his life for the cause of Christ. This is the legacy he leaves us, a life of obedience, devotion, and sacrifice. By following his example, we are reminded that true greatness in God's kingdom is not in being seen but in being faithful, even in the little things. Thus, André remains a model for all who desire to follow Jesus sincerely. He reminds us that by listening to God's voice and following Jesus, our lives can have a profound impact, even if they seem small and insignificant in the world's eyes. His story is an invitation to trust in the transforming power of Christ and to boldly live out the faith that has been entrusted to us. Andrew, though often overshadowed by his brother Peter, played a crucial role in the early Christian movement. As one of the first disciples called by Jesus, his faith and willingness to follow immediately set him apart as someone with a deep spiritual sensitivity. While Peter is known for his boldness, Andrew's quiet strength and humility made him equally important in the spread of Christianity. His decision to bring his brother to Jesus, as well as his involvement in introducing others to the Messiah, reflects his character as a connector, someone who brought people to Christ without seeking recognition for himself. Andrew's missionary work after Jesus' resurrection further demonstrates his commitment to the gospel. Tradition holds that he traveled to regions far from his homeland, spreading the message of Christ in places like Asia Minor, Greece, and possibly even as far as the Slavic regions. His martyrdom in Patras, Greece, where he was crucified on an X-shaped cross, symbolizes his lifelong devotion and sacrifice for his faith. Even in the face of death, Andrew's courage and loyalty remained steadfast, making him a lasting example of humility, faith, and unwavering commitment to Christ's mission.